What's up, y'all? What's up, y'all? On this Thursday. Hold on, two minutes. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up, Carrie? I'm gonna pop this chat out. I can't see over there. Up there. Oh, I don't do this ahead of time. Okie dokie. Now I can see you guys. I don't want that. Come on. Come on now. That's a little ridiculous. Okay. What's up? Melissa, we're doing awesome. Um, Erica is at uh, our friend Cruz, Cruz's studio, getting her hair cut and did. Sorry, I'm, I'm texting back. Erica. You can't see me. So what am I doing? What? What are you talking about, person? Well, awesome. Thanks for stopping in. Pick a time. Snooze. I don't want to do that right now. Thank you. Yeah, we have a lot of hairstylist friends. A lot of them. So yeah, tonight um, I'm just going to do a uh, little 12-inch acrylic geode clock, but I'm going to do, I'm going to paint the base first. I'm going to spray paint it with the, uh, what do you call it, a honeycomb stencil, um, and then put some resin over it. Leave some, leave some negative space so you can see it underneath. So um, with that said, let's get going. So, Yeti, Mike, oh, I think, is there, is there an echo? Let me see, I think I need to turn one of these down. Bowie? Can you guys hear that? Can you guys hear me? Bowie, what's the matter? You want to come up here? You want to say hi to the people? Come here. You just feel left out, don't you? There's Bowie. Everybody. All right. Bowie's just like, um, excuse me. You want to sit? You want to sit up here? Uh, you can't, cause you're gonna get hair in my resin. Sorry, I'm texting Erica back real quick. Sorry. If 
you want some food, I could eat whatever you feel like. If not, I can just warm up some tacos. I'm going live right now. Herky dirky. Um so yeah, we're gonna do a clear one, but I wanted to uh I want to spray paint um I'm gonna spray paint a uh what do you call it on here? A honeycomb. I'm gonna use um some champagne maybe some pink sherbet and some breakfast at tiffany's uh, hey bowie you don't even hear anything what are you doing he's so crazy what there's nothing even there huh? can you guys see that <laughs> getting her hair did at the salon yeah this uh, this this paint is pretty amazing we're like super happy with it all right gloves so we're gonna use our uh, 12 inch clear acrylic clock face we do sell these on uh, on the website artistelldeath.com as we do sell all these colors too as well I'm going to use some of this white base tint some titanium um, I thought about putting some clusters around here some some glass but I don't know I thought about putting some around here but maybe I can just sprinkle them in places and then that way you know, if somebody does want to buy this and they put the numbers on, you can just, I don't know. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. The Charming Giraffe. What's up? What's up, everybody? Clara, I bet you're looking forward to tomorrow. All right. Let's see, uh, I need, has that already been used? It looks like it. I don't want to use that. I need a cup. We are going to be using some stone coat tonight. We do sell this on our website as well, artistsellthat.com. The best art coat resin in the business. Um, if you don't know about it, it's a one-to-one -one. Um, it's got it even says it on here ultra UV protected this is stuff is awesome um, you get at least an hour and a half they promote an hour but we've used it for probably two hours possibly three one time if the temperature is just right in your place um, it's a little humid outside I think so this might this, this might be a little longer to dry uh, we have all the windows open um yeah at least at least two hours working time like it's crazy um, no odor um, you can put up to 500 degrees uh, Fahrenheit you know stuff on here she put her uh, ironing her curling iron on one and it didn't burn it <clears throat> so yes so now if you've uh, if you've gotten any of these from us our coasters are the same there is paper on the back. It comes this way when we buy it in the sheets. Um, what I normally do, if you can't get your fingernail on there, is I just take another one of these or just something with a little edge um, and just scrape it to get it started. And what we recommend is you just kind of go around the edge and just kind of, so you, you can get it all in one, one piece. And you take this side off. Ooh, that's weird. Still together. Um, and leave the other side on so that there is no cleanup the next day. And it is beautiful. 
there you go. And that's it. Let's move. Hold on. Sorry for the movement, y'all. I'm going to move this kind of more in front of me so I can get down a little lower for you guys. All right. And I apologize if I if I haven't read somebody's uh, comment or something. Um, all right. So, um, and if you're new to the channel, thank you for joining. If you haven't, if you haven't subscribed, please do. I'm trying to get up in those numbers. Um, we need to reach as many folks as we can to help them out with their resin or just artwork in general. We do a lot of, a lot of different stuff here uh, at Artists Till Death. Um, we do a lot of resin, of course. We do a lot of, um, if you can see in the background there, we've got portraits, um, we've got lit paintings. We do a little bit of everything here. We do a lot of murals, a lot of body painting, a lot of chalkboard work, um, setting stones. Erica is a master at color. Um, so yeah, we do a little bit of everything. So if you have a question about any kind of art, don't hesitate to ask, please. We are here to answer your questions, if we can. All right, so I'm gonna get this stencil I don't know which one. I think I want to use this small one. Get some spray paint. I'm going to use this uh, gold, uh, this black label by Montana. This stuff is amazing. Um, I don't think I want to put any, uh, I think there might be a little bit on here. <clears throat> spray adhesive because I don't want it to come off onto the uh, I think that it really wouldn't matter though right like if I got a little spray adhesive on here so what I'm going to do is just put this on put that right in the middle there right in the center or maybe like that so that uh, it'll be all right like this. Um, it's laying pretty flat, so I think it'll be fine. Yeah, I think. Oh, and if I do get a little overspray, I think that'll be fun. I don't think it'll hurt anything. And we have some of these coasters that we did uh, with Kim yesterday, and doing the uh, She Lee thing with the with the uh, acrylic paints. These are mine. I'm in love with them. I love, love, love this one. That's so fun. Like, I would love to see that on a big scale. Let's move these to the side here. I don't want to get anything on them. No spray paint. I might get a little spray paint on that. That would look nice, right? All right. So, I'm just going to spray this. I'm just going to, I don't know how, how much to spray. Should I just do like the center and kind of fade it out? Or out fading in or just kind of random? Always shake your paint. Always shake your paint, 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 paint. What's up, Christina? How you doing? All right. Spray your paint. Make sure it's all all the unmixed stuff is out because you want this to be a good solid. Um, and we do uh, these these caps here. We call this the Klaus Thin because normally it was uh, uh, one of my favorite caps. It was called uh, the German Thin, and it was it was gray. And now they make them yellow. And I don't know if it's the same, but. Um, it's a very, very amazing cap. Um, I'll show you on this paper over here after I get done spraying this. Um, it, it sprays out very low pressure. 
Um, very little paint, but it can give you a super nice thin line. Very controlled, very controlled, so you don't get a lot of overspray. You're not, you're not spraying a lot of paint out at once. And we do sell these on our website. All right, so let's, uh, I think I'm just gonna, I think I'm gonna do the whole thing. Yeah, I think that'll be fun. You know what you could do with this is I could spray this, let it dry, and then take some uh, masking paper, put it back over this, flip it over, and then pour on the other side. So you have a really 3D dimensional thing going. Thanks, Donna. Yeah, I was at OEP last night. We had some fun. Wes was spinning. I told people Joe Rogan walked in. Some people believe me, it was hilarious. Put it on Facebook. I do that because it's fun and if it's kind of dead somewhere, I'll just see if people really come in and look for that person, the famous person. <laughs> it was pretty funny. I'm like, you guys know me, come on. Yeah, see, so there's already some, some spray on here, so I think it'll be fine. It won't move. Normally I'd put a little spray adhesive on the back of the stencil so it doesn't move or lift up, but I think it's good. I think I'm just gonna kinda spray it. I'm gonna hold my breath here. But you'll notice like it's a very uh and yeah you can you can you can just uh what do you call it? Uh resin this and then when it's dry take the paper off the back and spray paint it with something like this and, and it'll be awesome. You know what's crazy, what will be fun, is I saved some of these. I saved a lot of these. These are actually the ones from, the cutout from, the one I made from plastic. You could do a reverse, you know? You can just set them up, spray it, and then take them off. That would be fun. I wish I could have a stencil like that, but I don't think you can make one like that. <laughs> All right, so let's just spray it. Let me spray this again because I've been sitting here with it. Uh-oh. It looks like this does not want to go on here that well. Well, it, it'll make a cool effect. It looks like it's not wanting to uh, just lay down right, so... We'll just do a light coat and don't move it because if you move it, you'll you'll uh, you'll scratch your paint. I'm gonna put the heat gun on it for a second. See, I'm trying not. I I, I was just very light too, you guys. Like I was spraying it very light, but look at this. You can see my reflection in this paint, and that's just one coat. And it looks like there's a hair in it. Are you kidding me? And it dries really fast, so. All right, I'll just do another little. I don't know, that would look, that looks kind of fun. I don't know if you can actually see the texture. Can you guys see that? I think it would look good with the geode. Um. The itty bitty baby tiny giraffe, it's uh, Montana gold, metallic gold, uh, the black label. By Montana. Yeah, I think I'm just going to leave it. I don't want to mess with it. I don't want to put too much down. Um, and then what, I want, what I'm going to need to do is just lift this straight up so that I don't move it how fun is that y'all oh
Look at that. That is too fun. All right. Y'all, we had some fun yesterday with Kim doing that acrylic stuff. Ooh, I think I'm going to use her little blower that she got. Hold on. I'm going to go get it. You guys got to see this thing. You guys got to get one of these. Who's are leaving a little gift. She ordered it on Amazon in one day and got it the same day. <laughs> Amazon is amazing. Bowie. All right. Check this out. Oh, there go my graham crackers. <laughs> um, look at this little guy. It's called 44. Can you see that? The, the, and what, yeah, and no more passing out. <laughs> That's right, Gina. And what you do is just turn it on. And it blows. Like, it's a good amount of air. I don't know if you can see that. I don't know what to do. See? <laughs> you press twice, turn it off. It's a little loud, but it'll be alright. Alright. Okay. Oops, sorry guys. <laughs> I am just full of clumsiness tonight. All right, so let's mix up some resin. Like I said before, this is a one-to-one, -one. and this, what do we say here? Let's make, you think four ounces will be good? Because I'm just going to do, I'm going to do a flood coat. God, there is a hair on here. You guys, this is already dry. Oh well, I hate that. All right, so what do you think here? Four ounces? That well, looks like we gotta make six ounces. So we'll start with six, because it's not gonna be a lot. And I have three of these coasters that I wanna flood coat. Part B, bada beam, bada boom. And now I need a stir stick. Give me a stir stick. Thank you, Clara. Alright. Let's get some alcohol in here first. So how's everybody's um, Thursday going? How's the weather in your neck of the woods? Hmm? I like to get a uh, rag with alcohol on it so I can wipe my hands off periodically so I don't get everything sticky. And I like to wipe this stick off. Mm. 
This is one of our handle grip stir sticks. Very popular, very nice. Um, and just so you know, we do have a geode class coming up if anybody's interested. Um, the information, all the information's on the uh, website, artisttilldeath.com, and it is December 11th and 12th. Should be fun. All geode. I think there's a couple seats left. I'm not sure how many she put up there, so. I think it'll be fun. You can't go wrong with a geode, you know? You just, you can't. There's nothing it's so fun, so. Uh, you just can't go wrong. When is the cruise? Um, I don't know yet. We're trying to work that out. I'm trying to figure out how how that would work. But we're in the works. We have a lady that can uh, get it done for us. So. Scrape your sides, scrape your stick. Make sure you get all that resin mixed up. Yeah, so, oh yeah, you guys, we got, um, we got a lot of glass in. Um, I'm not sure how she's gonna sell it, like by the pound or by the bag or um, but we got cute bags that she got off Amazon, um, bought some fire glass and I'm not sure she'll probably, she'll probably start thinking about it tonight, how she wants to sell it. Um, and hopefully it'll be on the website tomorrow. We'll see. I know we're going to start doing, um, geode geode uh, kits so that you can have everything you need in, in a kit just open it up and start pouring we'll probably do that this weekend <coughs> Bowie come on bud no yap yap dogs this is the last. It's so funny. I never thought I'd have a little dog like that. I love him to death. But I hope he's not turning into a little yap yap dog. And barks at everything. Alright. I'm pretty sure this is good. Alright. Let's get some colors together. I know I want to use these two colors. I think this will be really nice. And white. Um, babe, you got to uh, take this off the website, please. And this, because I can't find these two colors. <laughs> we have a lot of each. We have a lot of these colors, you guys. I love this champagne because it literally goes with everything. I mean, it makes any color look amazing. I need some stir sticks. I don't have any stir sticks, y'all. I don't know if I can get this lid off. Man, they really put this on here. You guys really seal this. That's a good job. Hopefully that'll... Um, deal with all the... Uh, leakage. Hold on, I'm gonna go get some stir sticks, y'all. I'll be right back.
All right. Stir this up. You get some of this. Always make sure to stir it up. Sometimes it separates. Sometimes it doesn't, but always make sure you stir it up so you get the best of your... You guys, this is dry already. This spray paint is dry. How crazy is that? I'm going to put the resin in first. I never know how much to pour. All right, so we're going to need a... We're going to need a clear coat. This will be more. The breakfast at Tiffany's will be just a accent. Um, I guess I'll make a, a white. And the gold I'm just going to put straight on there. I'm not going to... Uh, I'm just going to add it where I feel where I need it and yeah I'll just we're just gonna do a flood coat over this I'm not trying to cover the I do a a lot so we'll just give it just enough to, to coat it to grease the pan if you must did flatland get an award did they get a you got this she is awesome at what she does Keep telling her, you better practice in the mirror, girl. You better start going live and get in front of that camera to be ready to speak in front of all those people. I'm getting nervous and it's still months away. <laughs> we will be there. Who's going to the summit? What is it? April 7th and 8th, I believe. If I'm wrong, I'm, I, I apologize. Somebody could put that up there. We will be there live and direct. All right, so this will be like Cujo. Come on, bud. Sorry for yelling, guys. Cujo. Enough. Cujo. That boy drives me crazy. I'm gonna load this up. Oh, she's in here. Flatland. Hey. <laughs> Cujo. Bowie. Come on, guys. All right. Get some. Back to the Tiffany's. If you guys haven't seen this color, you are missing out. It's, it's hard to keep this color in stock. Can I get this off? Left that open for you guys. See you, Carrie. Bowie, be sweet. Be sweet, okay? All right. Stir this up. Ooh, look at that. Very nice, very nice color. This is going to look good, y'all. And like I said, I'm, I'm going to leave quite a bit of negative space. So we're just going to kind of um, 
because I want to be able to see this. I want to be able to see that honeycomb. make some white and remember we only use just a little bit of this stone coat because we don't want there is a hair in here Bowie already getting hair in here we do not want too much stone coat white so I will show you um, can you guys see that a little bit yeah like what I'm gonna do is, is put just just a little bit like just enough to tint the white, give it some, see I didn't use hardly any you guys, um, just so that it has it in there and I can uh, make sure there'll be some nice cells in there. And then what I'm going to do, that might have been too much, let's put this in here. Um, yeah, see that? Like when it's when it's kind of when it's kind of opaque, it might be a little bit too much. Yeah, it's still you can still see through the stick. So that's good. You can see through to the stick. Now I'm going to If anybody's wondering where uh, Erica is, she is at the hairstyle. She's at Cruz's place. And now I'm just going to take some of this titanium so we can make this nice and opaque. And just add it to that white. Make sure I load that up. So I can get a nice white in there. And what you also could do is uh, just use just resin. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, just resin white. So you'll have a little bit brighter white. So it'll be almost four colors, you know. It'll be a bright white, a not so bright white. Um, champagne and breakfast at Tiffany's. It should be good. All right. So now, how do I put it on? What do I do? What should I do? <laughs> I think I'm just going to kind of go. Bowie is just everywhere in here. That's what I get for putting him up here. And he's sitting there whining. All right. So I think I'm just going to kind of kind of do it all over and then I'm going to take that blower and just kind of blow it all over. Yeah? All right, let's do this. All right, now I'm going to put this pretty much over it. The champagne. I don't know how this is going to turn out. I'm kind of scared to use this thing. I hope it doesn't blow it off there. <laughs> All right, this is going to be kind of loud, y'all. Right, let's heat it up a little bit. I'm only going to heat it up just enough. Let me see. Is my cups off? I feel like my cups might be off. Oh, I think they're all right. Let's put another one down here just to make sure. All right, here we go. This is going to be fun. <laughs>
Okay, I'm going to tilt it. See what's good with that. Stretching. So fun. See through stuff. And some fun lacing. That's so weird that that honeycomb on the bottom almost looks fuzzy. <laughs> That's crazy. All right. This might be a two layer one here, y'all. This should be fun. Oh, Bowie pants. Just one minute, okay? One minute. This is fun. Hey, what's up, Kim? What, Bowie? Tell me. Are you the cutest one? Speak. Can you speak? <laughs> He's so darn cute. Oh, no! Oh no! He is, he is literally, you guys, look at this kid. <laughs> oh my goodness, look how cute this guy is. <laughs> He's so cute. This looks fun, you guys. I think it'll look good dry. I'm trying to make these little clear spots open more. That's fun. Bowie, just two minutes, okay? Please let me... I'll do this and then I'll pick I'll pick you up. Hold on. And I got Ooh, there's a But wait, you're already getting hair over here. I told you. Listen to this guy. <laughs> My goodness. All right. So let's do a little gold. So all I'm going to do is just drag it through the resin with this. How should I do it? Eric is so much better at this than I am. Oh, that looks great, you guys. I'm really happy with this.
Look at that. That is so fun. The gold just really sets it all together. It's so fun. Nice and soft. I could probably just get some of that glass and just kind of do a ring around it and just let it set. What do you guys think about that? Can you guys see the gold? Yeah, there are some cells. I think I just put uh, I just put so much paint over it that it's kind of taken over. And I'm thinking maybe that the white the titanium is is canceling it because normally you have to put color over the titanium but there are some this sporadic they're little they're small but that's that's fine i don't i don't mind you know what you can do also if uh because see i want to i want to have more negative space so I'm just going to add some clear into some areas so that it will bring out some of that. See that? I'm just adding negative spaces now. And always make sure when you put uh, when you put any new resin down, always make sure you hit it with the with the heat gun or your torch. Oh, look at that! That's fun. Do do some drips. Look how fun that is, you guys. <laughs> Bowie! Now he's just doing it on purpose, I know it. You're getting mad at me because I'm not paying attention to him. Look how fun that is. That's a whole new look of a geo, those little circles. Can you guys see the circles? All right, you can barely see them. I'll do a true video with my phone here in a little bit. All right, let's put some heat on them. Just a little bit. I'm not trying to just trying to pop those bubbles. I think it's done. I like it. I probably would have done a little bit more uh, negative space, but I didn't know how I was going to put the paint down, so. Um, next time, if I do another one, which I probably will, because I really want to do this uh, on the back side, um, is just put it across and put it over here, maybe. And so there's all that space left. I like it. You just make my negative spaces a little bigger. 
All right. Ooh. So now I have some leftover resin, and I think I'm gonna put uh, I'm gonna put it on this guy. A couple of these guys I have. I think I have enough. And if not, I have some other. Um, I have some coasters I can use. So I'm gonna put this in the dust-free zone. Wipe off the bottom. Take this hair out of here. Wow. Oh, he really does get around, doesn't he? <laughs> he just adds to everything. tidy and dust free zone I'm gonna try something with my with this one let's make it a little bit stable I have got resin all over my hands here The poor hair pup. Yeah. The hair struggle is real. The struggle bus is on its way. All right. So I think I'm going to do a little bit of a honeycomb on here with some spray paint. What do you think guys think about that? But what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this down so that I have more of a space and not uh, paint over the paint, you know what I'm saying? So it's the negative space. So I don't cover up all my artwork. It's like a reverse. And this, this should be cool because this spray cap sprays so lightly that I could probably just mist it on there. I think that's good, right? We're going to find out. But like I said, this this cap always spray first. See that? How it wasn't mixed up? I think I think they'll stay. Here we go. Here goes nothing. Yeah, I'm not going to do it solid. I think that looks good. Pick it straight up. And see, you, you've saved, you saved the majority of your welcome, Jennifer. All 
Alright. It's like surgery. <laughs> Look how fun that is, y'all. Like, and now I have a like a small little pattern on there. What? Why are we talking about suicide on here? It's uh. All right. So I'm just gonna put a little layer of this right over it look how fun that already looks y'all that is super fun All right, I'm gonna wipe my hands off before I touch this flood coat that looks so fun you guys oh my gosh and then what you could do with that I could take the uh, the stencil and put it just off lay this lay the regular stencil on there put it off and use it like a really light transparent uh, black it's like a shadow and it would look like this would be over that paint oh my gosh that's going to be amazing looking good looking good Bowie hair. Thanks, Bowie. Oh my gosh, that's like a something in the paint. All right, one down. Put this off to the side. I know I'm getting my hat in the way. Sorry, you guys. Look how fun that is. All right, let's put this one over here. What do you think about this one? Should I put, should I just do some, some clear? I have two, I don't know if that's gonna be enough. I think this will be a good amount here. Man, these colors really pop once you put this flood coat over these. These were these are acrylic. If you guys are wondering what these were, this is when Kim came over yesterday and we spent three hours, possibly four, doing some coasters and some uh, other pieces. I'll let uh, I'll let Erica show hers and Kim's because they're pretty proud of them. It was the first time we tried this. Uh, this way Carrie Hicks what's up yeah this was yesterday these were these were painted yesterday Linda all right I think we got enough to do this one Um, oh yeah, what do you guys think about us making pretty much these and the clear ones into uh, Christmas ornaments? Like what I'll do is I'll take the clear ones and uh, just put a hole in them. Just laser a hole so that uh, just like up here, in the, up here so that you guys can decorate them yourself. Give them as, you know, as presents. Put the year on them so you can have them keepsake. 
um, baby's first Christmas, puppy first Christmas, um, married first Christmas, whatever you guys want. Wow, this looks really nice under resin. I don't think I put heat on that other one, did I? Looking good, looking good. All right, so I'm gonna try something here. Oh, I don't have any more. I don't have any more of that uh, of clear left. But I do have a lot of this. <laughs> I'm gonna have to get some coasters. So difficult to peel these with gloves on. All right, so let's make a we'll do a white base. We can try to do that one. Like how she does it. Here, let's just do that. Let's just put this down. We're gonna try to do that, uh, the pillow. I should have got some regular coasters. This is just wasting a clear coaster. <laughs> All right, let's do, hey, come on. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do it off here in the corner. Will that work because it's so thin? We'll see. I'm gonna do a little bit of color here. A little bit of this here. And then we'll do one more white just to see if that works. You guys ready? This is gonna be fun. <laughs> Yeah, we're gonna have to put some plastic on this. Oh, let's heat it up. fun <laughs> oh yeah it does look fun look how soft that is just a nice little coaster I'm going to stretch this out a little bit here. That's fun. You got a simple little, simple little thing. A little coaster. And I got one more. I have so much. I'm going to have to go get some other ones because I don't want to waste this, this uh, stuff.
And you guys, we can't stress enough to um, always, always make coasters. Always have coasters set off to the side so that um, so you can uh, just have them, just grab them, put them on. If you don't like them, you know, wait, sand them the next day, pour over them again. Just make as many coasters as you can all the time. That is, that'll be your number one seller at little art fairs and uh, you, little, you know, little setups, little pop-up shops. Um, people love those. Let's see here. Let's do this base. Uh-uh. Please, guys. Bowie, come on, guy. Be a nice guy. How fun is that? That's so simple. So elegant. This champagne color is amazing. You guys better get you some of that before it sells out. And yes, I'm trying to sell it. <laughs> it's my job. What are we going to do? All right. We got enough to make more. Let's see. Where am I? Where am I? Where am I at? Oh, I got a couple right here. I got some got some white ones here so this is what I was thinking about with my you know how we have these white ones uh, made out of uh, what's this called masonite and I, I have to put this paper on here this is transfer paper for stickers um, I have to put it on the entire sheet first and then it cuts it so the laser doesn't burn it. This is all burnt here from the laser, but you peel it off and it's all white. So I thought, what if I just turn it over and pour it on this, and then the next day, if there's drips on the bottom, peel that off and you get it. You good. Um, but then, what's the use of having white unless you want to paint that too? It's up to you. So. I'm going to try it and see if uh, see if the resin goes underneath that paper. I've never tried that before, so it should be interesting. Let's see here. I'm going to try to do some uh, marbling. Make sure this goes over the side and onto the paper on the bottom. We'll see how that treats it. Meteor shower? I don't know, maybe we can go up on the roof and check it out. Alright, so I'm going to do like little bitty strings of this stuff so that we're just going to try to do some. marble effect here.
There you go, you got some marbling effect. I'm going to tilt it a little bit so that... Oh, that doesn't look like natural marble. <laughs> I want it to run off this so it goes on the bottom of this piece. That's super fun, y'all. Like a mini little table. Oh, look how this one's turning out. Very nice. All right, let's do one more. I'm gonna take the paper off this one though. So you're gonna have a white base, which I don't know why, because um, I don't have any clear. Yeah, let's put some of this gold in there. That is super fun right there. I think I need to turn that down a little bit. It's the, I feel like it's blown out, isn't it? Need to put these in the dust free zone, y'all. All right, last one. Just about out of all these colors. get the sides so you don't have to paint them there you go all right so let's do let's do one of these puddle things again see how this works out Put the white down first, and then the champagne over it. I'm really digging how this turns out. Heat it up.
I like to get it on all the edges and then tilt it back so it grabs it and makes some nice effects. You guys, this champagne color is so diverse, like it goes with everything. Like it 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 just it just goes. Like it just makes everything look so good. Look at that. Like just next to it looks amazing. I'm going to fix this before, before, hold on a second, so you guys can really see this. I don't know why. I think it's just because of that big light that I have right there. Hold on a second. This is plain overhead. Let's just go to this. Sorry, but there you go. That looks nice, huh? Those colors together. And then I'll show you the other ones that I did here. Well, those came out very nice. The one that I painted. You guys just experiment, you know? How fun, you know? It's just so fun. Look at that. That looks like a Tiffany a Tiffany marble countertop. Look how this one turned out. How fun is that? All right. Well, I believe that is it. <clears throat> Let's see here. There I go, sorry. I don't know why that sound's turned off. Um, for Anyways, thank you for showing up tonight. <laughs> um, where's that piece at? Hold on a second here. I'm gonna show you guys this. Look at this. Somebody needs to buy this ASAP. one more time y'all look at that look how awesome that looks and with that circle around it I love it I want somebody to buy this I want somebody to buy this before we leave you hear me <laughs> we need some walking around money for um, for Erica's birthday. Anyways, thanks a lot. Um, check out all these things right here. Doink, doink, doink. Um, we have a, uh, a Facebook page, ATD's Poor People. All you gotta do is just answer the question, join, you're in, ask any question you want when you get in. No question is dumb or stupid. I like to say dumb, stupid is, a lot of people say, you know, oh, this might be a stupid question. There's none. Ask away. We don't mind. Um, Instagram. We got, um, what is that? Snail trail. So if you guys want to send us something. Snail trail. Snail. <laughs> 
snail mail. <laughs> um, send us something to try out or just send us something. We got some shirts in the mail the other day. Pretty awesome shirts. Um, I can't remember who they're by, sorry. Erica knows the name. Um, and uh, yeah, be kind to one another. You never know what somebody's going through. Um, and uh, we will see you guys on the flip side tomorrow. What is tomorrow? Friday? Yeah. Oh, yeah. And we got a bunch of new Just Resin in. It's on the website, artistilldeath.com. Go check it out. Subscribe. Hit the like button. Enter a question for somebody. It's super easy. It's free. Make somebody's day. Save them a little money. Um, Geode class. December 11th and 12th in Dallas, Texas. Hit us up um, and let us know if you want to come. www.artistilldeath.com uh, Resin class. It should be Geo Resin class on there. So, yeah. You guys have an awesome day and uh, I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.